Oh. Hello again and welcome to a boiling hot Saturday afternoon. Let's see what I'm doing today. Yep, you guessed it. Okay. I'm talking. Do you mind? Yep. As we have rudely interrupted there, you guessed it. A shed. We're doing Project Shed today. So, that's the base done. Um, I cut all the, uh, the base bits at home. So the size we're doing is going to be a um, six foot by six foot. We're going with the six foot by six foot because if we come out by eight foot, it's going to be a little bit too too wide this end. Probably could get it in, uh, but six by six is not a bad size. So we're going to have the door here opens out that way. We're going to have a uh, bit of a veranda here, so uh, we'll come out. Come out about there and then the wife can have some hanging baskets outside and then from inside we can have a bit of shelving here and a bit of shelving there obviously so we can do a bit of potting up and uh, some tea making equipment and some room here for our tools and our chairs and we can sit in it on a rainy day uh, also going to do a, um, a pop out hatton gonna have a window but I'm not gonna have a glass one it's gonna be like a uh, a shutter that, that lifts up so it'll be up and out so we can look out at the lovely view and uh, also uh, bring in some lovely circulation so I'm going to try and do the shed all in all for under £100 uh, the base unit for the keen eye of you may have noticed that it's already got some holes in it and you're thinking, hello, where did you get that from? Well, I didn't get it from the skip. That was my hammock frame. And as I've got to uh, build a hammock frame later on for me, uh, for me DIY side, to show people how you can build themselves a hammock at home for, uh, with a frame for, um, ooh, for about 30 pound, uh, that gives me an excuse to crack on and get the wood now. So the wood's reclaimed from that. And, this wood, which is going to be your sides, it's already six foot, already cut, and it comes in um, packs of six, and it was £4.20 a pack for six, so four packs does one wall, um, bought four packs for either side, and uh, a spare pack. Obviously, because we're going to not do a pitch roof, we're going to have a uh, slopey roof just to build the, the, the bits for the slopey roof. And then, obviously, for the roof joists, or get some more of these battens, but they're only two pound, two pound thirty each, and they are seven and a half foot long. So I only need three of them. Um, we're going to put a bit of OBS down the flooring which is gonna cost me how much is that gonna cost I think I'll post that today it's about 12 pound to do the flooring and then the featherboard uh, gonna do it all in featherboard and then obviously for the, for the uh, but, but um, we'll, we'll see how much I'm gonna try and keep it under 100 pound so that's that bit I shan't bore you with the with me making it I'll, I'll make a side show how I've got it together and um, yeah, it's looking good. It's got it all nice and level. So hopefully it should take me, no, I'm not gonna bust a, bust a gut, it should take me about three days. Three evenings. Um, because we've got no power up here and I'm having to do it all by hand. I've got a battery drill, but I've only 
charged up the one battery like an idiot this morning. So I've been using that to drill the polar holes and I've been um, putting all the screws in by hand and I'm already blistered up. So uh, not good, not good. So I should have, uh, should have planned it. This is what I'm like, I'm spare at the moment. Everything's, got up first thing this morning, thought about doing it, um and ah. Before I knew it, it was about a past 12 and there I was rushing around to get all the, the bits uh, when I should have got up nice and early, put the batteries on charge. But that's me, that's the way I do things. And uh, right, we'll see you again in a moment. Woo, well that was a bit quicker. Got the one wall built. So, a bit rickety, but I'm not bothered about that because it's a feather ball that's strengthening it up. So once I've got the feather board on it, we'll get it up. That was a lot easier to do, because obviously the, uh, the wood's still soft. Whereas this stuff, years old. So I'm gonna build uh, probably one more wall tonight and then uh, call it a day. Uh, get everything put away and do the watering and then uh, come up here tomorrow and hopefully get all the walls up and the feather board, get the floor down and get the roof on. Mm. That's my deadline. It's good all change though. See you in a minute. There we go. Not too bad, is it? I just uh, tie wrapped it. I'm not going to secure it at all. I mean, I cut these off and put it all away for tonight, but I just tie wrapped it so you can get an idea of the sort of size of it. Well, six by six. So um, tomorrow I'll featherboard them walls and then put them up, and then they'll have the uh, the strength in them. Then. So that's um, two walls done. So, side wall tomorrow, and then the front with the door, and the swinging out the hatch. I may have the hatch where it uh, goes down, comes out, so it's uh, a little like a uh, ice cream kiosk. So you'll be able to put your cups of tea out here. The wife can sit in there and uh, I can come up and order me bacon sandwich. I think that's what'll happen. We stand here. Uh, one bacon bat, please, love. <laughs> she can have a price board outside. <laughs> so, not a, not a bad afternoon's work. I could have really cracked on if I'd have had the uh, the other spare battery for me drill. And uh, I could have drilled all the screws in then, instead of done by hand. Because I've got a lovely blister there, as I showed you before. One come off of my thumb. And uh, not good, not good. All in all, pleased. Right, let's crack on and water. I'll speak to you again in a moment. What a beautiful evening. So the good ladies arrived now to pick me up. All the watering's done. Uh, just like to give a, a mention to my friend from Germany, Hoshi. <laughs> He sent me a video of, um, you may remember me mowing with my mower the other day. And he sent me a video how Germans do it. Have a watch of this. Hello, this is my way to pad grass. German engineering, but then, then, <laughs> shortly after he sent me this one, the, uh, the outtake, uh, which I think is a more funny video. Hello dude, new day, new fun, um, I saw how you cut your grass, this is my way.
Uh, was it German engineering after all, was it? Where'd you get that mower from? Britain. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for the day. So, until tomorrow, until we do the shed. Yeah. So, uh, catch you tomorrow. Have a good one.